Welcome to the Shuffle It Online Championship round of 32. I made it this far. And let's see if I can make it any further. Um, I'm playing V Sunar. I'm bad at pronouncing that, so I probably stop doing that. And right away, we start off with a tax board. And I'm first player. Hmm, let's see how that goes. Uh, also, I get the set opening. Could open silver, silver, aim for a junk dealer. So what do you want your deck to look like here? Uh, there's no village other than ghost, which is kind of bad. So silver, silver does look fine. Anyway, I guess you want the silvers, get your get your junk dealers, maybe probably two of them. And then you could get an altar if you hit six and get lucky that way. Um, that's, I mean, Exorcist is also pretty tempting. Wisps are great, of course, so I could go for that in the second shuffle, but I'm, then I can't open silver, so would I open nothing over Exorcist? No, I'd rather get the double silver. Of course, now he gets a nice advantage if he has a 3-4 as well. But there's not a whole lot I can do about it. With four threes and I'm in the same tough spot now. Deciding if he wants Exorcist over nothing. So, looks like it's not a 3-4, otherwise the choice would have been pretty easy. Could still be 2-5 or 5-2. Um, with 2-5 you decide what to... What do you want? You want to... Tax. Or am I lagged out? No, it's 4-3, okay. So he got... Well, if he now goes for silver 2, then he had no advantage from the tax in the first shuffle. And if he goes for exorcist into tax, then I'm fine with that, I guess. Okay, goes for the silver. Second silver then. Uh, four is an awkward hit. Could go for the exorcist now. But then I probably don't get a junk dealer next turn. Could also just go for a merchant. I want the junk dealer. Imps aren't going to do that much. Well, altar, I guess, is somewhat better. Especially since, it, well, I would have gotten, but that's really a big risk to take. So I'm not taking it. Altar is fine. You have one village if you want to keep it. And then I can tax the altar here. Beep. 
I think I want to get a junk dealer. Do I have a debt? No. Here's the one with the debt. So get a junk dealer here and ball for merchant exorcist. This junk dealer misses. So does he want an altar with the two debt attached or goes for a second junk dealer? That's the big question. He goes for the altar. Oh, come on, Silver. Ooh, I got lucky. Um, gold or more merchants? I think I like the merchants. That was a saddish draw. I could treasure copper. That's probably best, right? By a merchant. I was thinking about trashing the silver, but it's uh, it's a bit a bit sad. Not buying anything in exchange. Imps are fine, but not that important, maybe. He goes for the penultimate merchant. Uh, my next merchants will be kind of set. I guess I play the necro and then trash the ogi. Okay. Um, for another merchant. Or I could ball for like merchant silver and get something better here. Swamp pick isn't that impressive either. Brave robber is 
interesting since I will have junk dealers that are useless later. Journeyman, if you're only villagers, eh? uh, rather get the merchant and buy gold. Well, the exorcist will be set again. thinking about trashing overgrown or oh, trashing necropolis well yeah it's fine to trash that second junk dealer My junk dealer missed, of course. And my exorcist is also quite sad. At least it was like another treasure. Do the junk do I let the junk dealer go for a ghost or an imp? Or just hope to trash something good. I could of course get a second junk dealer and trash this one. I could draw and alter the exorcist because it's really not doing all that much anymore. Could also uh, all through the junk dealer is pretty sad. Yeah, the imps will be nice, but the I mean the altar isn't that useful anymore. I could let it go. So let's see what I draw here. Okay. Let's kill the altar. And ghost seems way less useful than imp uh, because the big turn I will get from the ghost. Well, it hurts me the other turn and there is no good way to buy stuff anyway. So let's gain an imp. But now I really want a wisp in my deck with the imp. How do I get it? Treasure silver or a necro? Probably the necro. Buy some other gold. Province time, I think.
Eggles is overgrown. That will be a good turn for him for sure. Goes for the grave robber engine. Oof. What eight? Okay, two junk dealers, a eh? four merchants. Yeah. Okay, I have it too. Okay, buy a junk dealer. That was grave robber food even for him. Four coins. No, okay. Way enough. Um, do I trash the junk dealer for something better or do I play it and look what I draw? Guess I want to thin out on covers. Well, I should have should be able to know what's down there. So, I played three merchants last turn. I have have I three golds? Am I the one with the three golds or not? Um, maybe. Yeah, let's buy province, trash the junk dealer for a wisp. That was a gold, I think. Well, if we can double province, he has a good shot at winning anyway. Could of course also not find any silver. I think he only has two and they both were out of this shuffle. Grave rubs. Could 
be the author or nothing if I'm lucky. Question is do I play Wisp first or Burton first? I think usually you play the Wisp first in case there's another copper there. Don't even know if I have another copper. Or what else could I draw? I could draw the imp with it, so that's that would be nice. If I can get one or more province, I think I'm in good shape. So it, it seems like he doesn't have the easy win, so I get another turn, likely. Gains a junk dealer on the draw pile. Oh, that card isn't that great anymore, right? Silver top deck, okay. I buy the duchy. Now he could tie if he wants and if he's able to. Because junk dealer gets a bit worse over the long game. He just gained another. Or he could also win with with his altar. If he still has it. But he would need to. He also has the junk dealer, so. He needs to play the altar and buy province and have something to trash. And just trashed, just played another junk dealer here. That Wisp maybe should have been an Imp. Wisp was too safe. Imp would have been better. But who knows. Hmm. Looks like he has a tough choice here with the Junk Dealer play. He also had to think... Oh, well... Trashing copper is not really what I call a tough choice. Maybe he thought about trashing his junk dealer. Now he's fishing for something better. But that usually goes wrong, right? Probably just fishing for the tie now. I hope he has some green in hand that he can't trash. Like a duchy. Or a province. <laughs> I guess shuffle wasn't too great. Three or three merchants are already out. A gold is out, a silver is out. Um, yeah, my hand doesn't look great until I find a silver. Do I have another silver in there? Played one silver there. I played one silver there. There should be another silver. I have three. Silvers. At least I think I have three silvers if I'm not terrible at counting. So that must be a tough choice, I guess. Alter, bye. So, was he fishing for the win? Oh, he was thinking about how to win. So he took the tie. He was thinking about tying or not. Now I really would have wanted to know how the Game goes on. Uh, if I if I would have been able to province again, uh, 
it's set to time from first uh, player, but that happens. Can always win on second player. Mm, Chapel Black Market dominate. Oh, we are in for something. 5 2 on this board. Uh, I mean, Royal Seal Chapel isn't the worst thing ever. Definitely consider opening Chapel Silver here anyway. Get a black market later. And top decking stuff from the black market can be nice. Uh, someone doesn't have this bag unmuted. It's Mikey Chikey, of course. Mikey Chikey, mute your Mikey. Thanks. And I probably butchered the name. Hmm. Could also, of course, do a quick money thing with tra Chapel and Treasure Map. Um, it gets a bit destroyed by Familiar. Possibly. Maybe it's fine though. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad, honestly, with Remodel in the Kingdom. Could also do Rats Chapel. Remodel the Rats. Let's see what he does on his 4. He goes for the Silver. You are kind of against the treasure map plan. You are on the mercy of your black market draws. Um, but there's also dominate, of course. <laughs> that always changes things up once again. Maybe it's unrealistic to aim for dominate here. Princing a sage would be a nice thing, of course. Or princing like anything from the black market. There should be enough in this game to beat a black uh, beat a rush stuff. So chapel silver, it's likely is for him. Let's go with the seal. I don't like opening chapel black market. And sure enough, he does it. And collides, but also gets the trash to estates. Um, and I get the black market now, I think. Oh, look. Well, no opening is safe from that. Doesn't care, doesn't matter. Well, let's get a sage then. Does it help or just a silver? Come on. Sage would have at least cycled. No, it would have made my black market shit collide. Oh my god, this will be super bad. If 
If Sage I could make it cycle quicker. Let's get a Sage and top deck it. Yeah, I can cycle to my chapel. <laughs> I skip my chapel, of course, I mean. It's it's possible. Uh, it didn't happen, luckily. Okay, so here we have a village. And I could pick up village plus three cost, which I think I do. Top deck it and buy another sage. And don't top deck it because I want to trash stuff, but it seems like I'm not allowed to. Ugh. This will get ugly. Well, here we have a advisor for draw or hunting grounds for draw. Um, I think trashing two coppers is better and advisor will be quite nice with a thin deck later. Swamp Hack is annoying. But he goes for the Prince. Uh, just trash, right? Could buy a silver. I have two silvers. I could buy another black market. Maybe that's better. Sets aside a black market, I guess. Ah. That looks bad for me, but what can I do? Should try to get to eight as well. Hmm, come on, deny me the black market. Could have known that I have another. But maybe it doesn't even matter. So there's Outpost. That's one uh, gets picked up like <laughs> instantly. <laughs> Outpost Prince, holy shit. Uh, I can even trash. Ah, that's a s quite a sad turn. Unless, well, I can always find something useful in the black market. Another village would be great. non terminal draws, great. Stables, of course, great. Um, and attack would be fine. Some hand size reduction or something. And otherwise I buy the gold. What's his hand? I think must be chapel and I don't really know. Did he buy something else from the black market?
<laughs> Thinking really hard about this one. Stable is pretty obvious choice, I think. Oh, he had another copper. Okay, so stable doesn't doesn't do too much. Um. Yeah, the journeyman is bad until I get a village. Let's get a gold. Let's top deck it. Oh, come on. That's so, so great pickups here. All that I would need. I would need all of it. Well, Den of Sin, great. Border Village, insane. Isn't Border Village like the number one, if you pick this up from the black market, you are most likely to win card? Could be. Uh, Envoy doesn't fit his deck at the moment. Border Village is nice. Comes with another card and you want villages here it's border village and treasure map so he goes for that one remodel chapel into treasure map and has a stables top tick probably oh that gets tougher and tougher um, what's in there? Another black mar no, no, more black market. Like silver. Let's play the advisor. Oh, outpost. Okay, well, with the two sages, I might get around to it. Nope, I don't. At least I play some black markets. Baron, uh, Margrave. Huh, hello. There. Mm -hmm. I am way over terminal though. But I can't pass up on the Margrave. Um, crypt. Don't buy, right? Uh, well, I could buy it. It's not awful. Of course, I could just also trash my treasure, so... Uh. I still have one estate, come on. What's, what's going on here? Uh, gold. And now I need to... hope to... pick up something better from the black market soon. Maybe I should go for potion. But that doesn't make sense, right? I need a I need a prince. Like honestly, come please. Hmm, yeah, this will get really tough. 
sliver for royal seal by province. Uh. This was like the perfect draw here from the from the Margrave at least. Uh. Well, at least I skipped those two suckers. Uh, Mountie Bank is... <laughs> but I have way too few. I can't take the Mountie Bank. I just can't. I need to buy the Prince. And I top deck it. And at least I collide here with the Sage. That's nice. But it's like super hard to come back anyway. So making the game shorter, reasonable, although not buying a province. I would have remodeled the gold probably. Might be a dominate turn. It must be right. I mean, how unlucky could he f could he have drawn to not have dominate? Must be like three golds bottom deck for that, and two remodels in hand. He could, of course, just remodel into two provinces. Okay. No, oh, skipped the. Uh dominate in favor of that. So I could, well, I play the outpost for sure. Now I could trash something. Do I rather want to trash or, well, I do have eight, nine, 10, 11. It's not enough anyway, so let's trash down those two. I have two buys. Uh, how much do I have then? 10.
Crit exchange. Could also go gold remodelish. Um, There's an estate in there, and I'm at 10. If I play this next turn, I can play the black market, right? If I draw everything that is, which is hard to, hard to do. Gold for sure. And probably remodel. Oof, look at that set turn again. Okay, so if I would be able to dominate here twice, or just even dominate once and remodel again, uh, enough. Dominate is 15 points, that puts me up to 16. No, it's not, but almost. Still dreaming, right? We're still dreaming, everyone. Let's play all this, this freaking sages. And 9, 11, well, it's not in there. Um, could trash black market into something. Do I even have enough? I have another silver, maybe, maybe not. I think so. Or don't I? <laughs> Did I ever play like a silver? Yeah, I have a silver, so nine. I would need one more anyway. Trash into Dutchy and buy gold. And then I could get a. What do I even hope for? It's not in there, right? It, I don't have it. I don't have enough. I need to hope for more turns, which will not happen. Yeah, I would need to not trash the black market. Uh, can anything save me? How rely? How likely is it that I pr that I dominate? 
without the black market it's not I mean I need any of my economy right I have three golds a carriage gain and play is something with a remodel but well, that really doesn't look great Yeah, I need province, but it's, it's just super sad. Uh, <laughs> this advisor proved to be not that helpful. Oh, look, Goons was next on the list. That could have been nice. But, yeah, he had that in the head anyway. Ah, I tried as hard as I could with the freaking opening, <laughs> missing my shuffle and then just trashing two cards from chapel. There's only so much you can do. I think you should have played for a Dominate at least once, just to be safe with the points. Okay, there's Guardian and you're trashing his upgrades. Spice Merchant could open Guardian because you want it here anyway, right? Uh, Guardian Mint sounds awful. Colonies are here. Your deck wants to be Bazaar, Torturous, and Guardian upgrade is like good. You need the guardians anyway. So two minutes for him. Uh, Spice Merchant Silver is also a reasonable opening for sure. And I think I want a Spice Merchant eventually. Oh, come on. This just sucks. Well, three coins would suck just as much, I think, but my upgrade will not find an estate. I think a candlestick marker. Do I want one eventually? Yeah, let's get it. Maybe I should have anticipated this turn and got a guardian instead, though.
not the most impressive turn here from him either. So far through that. Uh, second upgrade or spicy? Probably spicy. It's nicer to remodel into other stuff and I can save a coin token. Yeah, I said it, it's a coin token. Okay, at least this upgrade doesn't miss. Spice Merchant treasures silver already, wow. Uh, that's some dedication. Must have been a pretty sad turn, I guess. And this one will be a bizarre, because I really don't want to draw my stuff dead. And after that I will get a torturer, just to try and get lucky. Oh, the mint for four coppers to trash. Pretty good. I must say. Well, this is a torturer. Mint is a pretty good card to have anyway. For the platinum duplication. So maybe he's ahead now. Did I ever have a good option to buy the mint? No, right, when I bought my bazaar it was like recover silver, well maybe that was fine to buy it there. But like I'm not going to buy a mint here, get another bazaar. This turn sucks, maybe, possibly, unless I top take the best card here. I don't. That means I'm susceptible to a torturer attack. At least this hand is kind of nice. Maybe I get lucky and he doesn't draw torturer this turn, but I should would have to get real lucky. Hmm. Yeah. He draws deck, which sucks because it can buy another guardian and then my torturers do nothing. No second torture for the... <sighs> Come on, are you serious?
I get somewhat screwed by luck, I think. Buys the platinum now. Maybe, or just, yeah, just more drawn villages to be more consistent. Makes sense. Uh, let's see, torture bottom deck? No, at least not. But, oh, this draw. Could just be a bent. Honestly, it could just be a mint. And then I'm getting double torture attack next turn unless I'm lucky. Didn't even draw a candlestick maker. What's going on? Let's get the mint. I guess I take a curse and then discard. Mm. I was going to say, looks like for the first time he bottom decked something, but nope, not today. Well, look at that nice turn. Do I just buy a second guardian now and not play it? Feels super bad. But I guess I do it. Oh, let's resign this. This one isn't this one isn't going better. These draws were terrible. Well, okay. Looks like I'm being to be out. Uh, well, yeah. If we soon as a good player, there's no shame losing to him. Quite loud and distracting. Oh, okay, let's not get distracted. Also, ah, oh, that's what he means.
okay, let's then what he asked for 10, 15 minutes. I'm not going to record all of it. So I take a break on the recording here.